So do you have any of the seven signs of a sick business? It's <laughs> like a serious tongue twister. Is it stupid? Should we go with it? If you're a small business owner, an employer, and you've got any of these seven things, that's what this video is about. We've studied over 65,000 businesses over the last 10 years running our business accelerators around the world. And there are these seven signs. The first is slow growth. The second is you're overworked. The third is you're underpaid. The fourth is you're chasing new business. The fifth is that you're selling time. The sixth is that you feel like you're lacking purpose. It's turned into a bit of grind. It's lost its meaning. And ultimately, and I guess this is number seven, there's this sense of frustrated ambition, like there's so much more potential that you could be tapping into, but for, well, those previous six problems. Turns out the entrepreneur journey is highly predictable. The problems are predictable and the solutions become predictable. So if you're experiencing any of those symptoms of a sick business, the rest of this video is gonna tell you what to do about it. Let's go. So the vast majority of small businesses are in what we would call the red zone or the struggle zone. And like I said earlier, they've plateaued with slow growth, they're overworked, they're underpaid, they're chasing business, they're selling time. Right? It's kind of like there's two types of entrepreneurship. There's entrepreneurship and there's entrepreneur shit. <laughs> And so of course that's not where we want to be. There's this other zone, this blue zone that we call lifestyle. And that's where you're generating more than half a million in revenue with less than three employees, or you're generating less than three million revenue with less than 12 employees. You don't want to go beyond that zone. It's in that zone that if you get it right, you'll experience sustainable growth. You'll be more profitable. The business won't be reliant on you. You'll attract inbound opportunity, not just clients, but talent as well. You'll attract the team that you need that can run the business without you. And our experience is that when those businesses are led by key people of influence, you're able to spend a lot more time doing what you love. You're able to focus on using your business as a force for good and making a more meaningful contribution. So the question, of course, is how do you bring bridge that gap? And the answer, in over a decade of working with small business, if you're already established, if you've already got great value, you're generating referrals, your customers and clients love you, the fastest way to create a breakthrough is to show up as the go-to brand in your industry. We call it becoming a key person of influence. It's what the book's all about. I'll show you how you can get access to that. And also a deep dive workshop I do on this topic. But bottom line, there are five core things you need to focus on so you show up as that go-to brand, as that key person of influence. You gotta have a great pitch. Pitching is all about communicating your value in such a way that you can do more business at a higher price in less time. Publishing is all about how do you show up as an authority in your industry by publishing content that simultaneously attracts inbound opportunity that are pre-sold to the idea of working with you while also opening the door to next level opportunities. Product is about creating an ecosystem of products where you become more profitable in less time and you have different products for different outcomes. So you have certain products that generate leads, certain products that upsell into higher value products, certain recurring revenue products. The idea is products don't make money, it's the product ecosystem that makes money. And I go into more detail into the four key products you need to have to escape the time trap during my workshop. Profile is about creating influence at scale. It's how do you take your reputation to the fact that far, far more people know about it. Accelerating the inbound opportunity, but also increasing your credibility by winning awards, being featured in key media, and showing up powerfully on Google. Finally, partnerships. Partnerships goes beyond just establishing joint ventures and alliances with existing blue chip brands. It's about unlocking the illusion of limited resources because right now you might be struggling with generating leads or not having enough cash or capital or struggling with time. The spirit of partnerships demonstrates that right now, whatever you're missing, someone has that thing in abundance. Someone has more leads than they know what to do with. They've got a huge database. Someone has more money or capital than they know what to do with. They're looking for a great place to invest. 
Partnerships is about understanding what are the key building blocks that would accelerate the growth of your business and how do we leverage pitch, publish, product profile partnerships to attract that opportunity to you. If you're looking for some tools, tips, tricks, and hacks to be able to accelerate your growth in challenging times, I encourage you register for my workshop. It's called Standing Out and Scaling Up in Crazy Freaking Times. It's about becoming a key person of influence in your industry, building a challenger business that is fine-tuned for the times that we're in. I hope to see you there. My name's Glenn Carlson. Be brave. Have fun. Let's go make a dent in the universe. Thank you.